We've been putting in the work behind the scenes so that we can get to right here. Exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to get some free crates and I'm going to show you guys exactly how we've done it. Guys, all of that and more to come in today's episode of Minecraft Prisons. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prisons. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, the best number one rated Minecraft prison server. Back for another episode in this brand new season. Guys, I have done a whole ton of work off camera to get us to where we are today and it's going to hopefully pay off. We have done a, a tremendous amount of work I mean, throughout this entire season, really, but specifically in the last like 24 hours to get to where we are. So yes, today is going to be a very, very good day and I'm super excited for it. So some changes from last episode, you may see that we are now rank 446, getting all the way oh, or nearly halfway through 400 here. And we are also pressed these 356 million. So we've, uh, you know, we've put some work into that. But most importantly, our blocks mind have now officially gone over 150,000, which is exactly what was required for us to build our mortar, which was one of our battle pass challenges, which we need to go and check out because the reward in which we get from that today is technically a store item worth like $25. So this is going to be a huge thing for us. And technically all of you can get this. This is something which I believe is a completely free reward. You don't even need like the premium pass or anything to claim it. So it's actually a pretty cool thing of how you can get a free crate just by playing the game. Now, thanks to the little bit of grinding that I've done off camera here, we actually have some balances today as well. We've got 500 trillion in the tokens and we've got 83 million in the gems, which is actually pretty huge. That's going to help us out a lot today. And I've been AFKing quite a bit, so we should have some uh, some currency sat here in the AFK robots. Let's take a look and see what we've got out of these right now. 116 million gems. That is huge. Taking us over 200 million gems today. And then 1.6 Q tokens, which is also huge, which we can uh, hopefully use to our advantage today, which is actually pretty good. We've, we've, we've done well over the last day or so. Now, you guys have been enjoying all the bundles and the crate giveaways and stuff that I've been doing recently, but I want to change up a little bit today. I'm actually going to do a gift card giveaway, just a straight gift card. We're going to do $35, okay, a gift card for the store that can be used on Skyblock or Prisons or wherever you want to use it. It can be used anywhere. So it's going to be $35 in the gift card form. All you guys need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel comment your username and then join the giveaways only discord and uh make sure you press the enter button in there as long as you've done all of that then you are officially entered into winning 35 dollars here for the server store so yes good luck to everybody who does enter that make sure you do get your entries in it'll last about three days or so so make sure you are quick on that one so before we get into building the mortar and getting our rewards for that let's um let's just make the upgrades in which we need to make today we've also got a pouch there that i can unlock giving me another million gems and 52 trillion tokens very nice i also do want to quickly go into milestones because i think i've completed quite a few of these which we can uh, go ahead and get some additional rewards and tokens for as well um so we'll claim all of this and that'll kind of give us a better idea of our actual starting point for today yeah lots of tokens claimable in there very very nice lots more vaults and stuff as well okay cool yeah not a bad little place to start off let's just um i'm just gonna quickly get all of these open this will hopefully juice up the token balances into uh you know wherever the best place they could be to start off this episode let's uh chuck all of the stuff away that we don't necessarily need i don't really need common skin boxes i'm pretty sure i have almost every skin that you can get in the common skin box like fully maxed out and unlocked so yeah, there's not really a need for that. Let's chuck any of these in that can go in. Yeah, you guys can see I've, I've pretty much nearly got everything back. All these mystery vaults down. Those will give me a couple more tokens here and there as well. Loads more skin fragments of skins that we already have unlocked. And of course, the ones that we don't have unlocked, but nowhere near as many of those, obviously. Why would we? Oh, so that's the starting point. So 200 million gems. What do we do with that? I think it all goes into black hole. Honestly, we do have the frozen gorge available. Very expensive enchant though, and a very low proc chance. So I think uh, the play is definitely to just go straight into all of this although i know that we do actually have a battle pass challenge for shard collector to max out as well so it might be doing it might be worth doing that literally just so that we can uh so that we can max it out and get the uh, get the challenge done for that um let's think about this logically i don't think we need to because we've got the other challenge that we can do today that we are going to be doing anyway i don't think we need to so i'm going to leave that for now we're going to put these 300 levels on prestige finder using my tokens and there we go so we've got uh, just over a thousand levels left of this to get i think i don't think there's many more than that is there how many do we need here yeah like 1000 uh 1300 something so it's not that many over that it's gonna be like i feel like about 12 q tokens before we can max that out so we're well on our way and actually i probably have a couple things that we could sell that would get us there and actually obviously the weekly crate that we get today from our rewards could, uh, could help towards that as well. So without further ado, let's actually go to the mine and take a look at the mortar. So if you guys don't know exactly what the mortar is, 
First and foremost for us today, it's actually going to complete one of our battle pass challenges. Um, you guys will see that in week three here, I believe it was week three. Yes. To complete this quest, you must construct the mortar. And to do the construction of the mortar, you actually have to complete a whole bunch of different challenges. Um, that including that you need to get to pickaxe level 150, you need 150,000 blocks mined, and you need token miner level uh, 5,000. So we've now done all of those thanks to my mining. So let's go ahead and construct this thing, get that battle pass tier up, and that should in fact reward us with a free, I believe it's a free tier reward. Yes, free reward weekly crate. Now we actually get another one in like four tiers time. So it's definitely worth doing other challenges if we've got them. But for right now, let's take our free crate and uh, not complain about that. But also let's take a look to see whether we can actually upgrade anything else in this. I am going to say maybe not, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, so we can't do double strike. We can't do fire rate. We can do ammo quality. So that's cool. We can't do it more than one level and we can do a multiplier upgrade let's do that there we go ah uh, but we can't do it more than once so we do need to get 300,000 blocks mined uh for that one and then we'll be able to upgrade the uh i think that was is that fire a oh, double strike upgrade okay so yeah we need to upgrade that fire uh fire rate we also just need lottery proc so that's just about mining more so yes this is essentially a completely free crate as i said it, was no, it wasn't a premium reward you don't need to buy anything to get to this so if you guys um you know you're, you're looking at the store and you're thinking hey i want a 20 dollar crate but i don't want to pay 20 dollars what you got to do come into the battle pass take a look at the reward system here um this was tier 30 i believe i'm pretty sure yes tier 30 here um which is easily achievable without purchasing a single thing um and these are all the quests which you need to complete in order to get there so very, very good. Uh, we'll take that. That's very, very nice. And um, yeah, we'll we'll continue to do all the challenges as they come up. As the weeks come up, you know, obviously we'll get more and more rewards. I believe when we hit tier 54, because we got the premium pass, which only cost, I think, $10 on the store. You actually get a $10 gift card, so you actually get your money back pretty much. So it's actually very, very cool. So yes, plenty more rewards to have from that. But for right now, we got a weekly crate that we need to open. So theoretically, this could give us some really good items here that we could then sell and actually be able to max out prestige finders today. That it would be like best case scenario. Um, well, I guess actually best case scenario gives me like a massive freaking stalky bond. But other than that, I'd take an Akuma Plus rank. I would take um, tier two crystal boxes. I would take probably V kit shards. Those would probably sell for a little bit right now. Um, and then, yeah, attachment boxes, again, we would take that. So let's open this, see what we can get, see if it's going to be anything worthwhile or, you know, anything that we could sell potentially. Let's have a look. We are going to get ourselves 25 epic token robots. So that isn't really ideal. Like, it's not really anything that we can sell as such. Um, so we are just going to have to settle with those, I think, and apply them. It's not too bad in the, uh, in the grand scheme of things, because obviously that's going to increase our token income anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's something that we can use, but it's not ideal in, uh, the, the here and now of, uh, you know, using money to upgrade. Things. All in all, we probably could have got some better things from that crate. Um, that is not ideal for like progression today, but it's okay. We will, uh, we'll be able to use that, you know, in the, in the AFKing that I do over the next few days or so. So it's not the end of the world, but we will go ahead and open up all these crate keys here that I've gotten also for free, by the way, while I've been AFKing and like saving my, um, you know, saving my robots up and all the things like that. We've also been on for a lot of keels, which has actually resulted in me having a whole ton of these crate keys to open. So that's always good news. We'll absolutely always take free crate keys. Why wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, these are, these are hopefully going to be useful. We've got a lot of things in our inventory now that could really help us with, um, you know, with currency. Right. So after all these openables, we do have a bunch of legendary skin boxes. Now, the benefit of this, of course, is that we could get more Shadow Clone skin fragments, which is kind of what we're really aiming for right now. We need to get that level up. Like, that's really the only skin fragment that I'm that interested in actually leveling up right now. Um, so the more of those that we can get, the better. It's just a shame because they are absolutely the rarest ones to get by the looks of it. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's hard there, but that's okay. We got 11 of them right now. That does get me up to level three just. I think that just does that. So that's perfect. Um, I think the only one other than that we need is that one. So that's all of those ones to level three and then a whole bunch of ones which we can't do anything with. Now, the other thing, of course, which we've been neglecting for a little bit now is actually armor. So... Um, we are we are in the market right now still for better armor. Now, it might not look like it because I haven't really been opening these armor boxes, but I have been saving them up. We do have a whole bunch of these mythical ones. I figured that we should only really open mythical ones since that's all we're really after. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to go ahead and hopefully get ourselves the perfect armor set. We'll have to see whether that's a reality 
or just a freaking fever dream. I don't know. We gotta, we gotta see if we can get it today because realistically we need it. Right now we're just rocking like legendary, what one piece of mythical uh, token armor right here. I think token is probably still the way to go. Don't really think there's anything other, like uh, any other kind of armor set that we really need right now. I'm pretty sure that token is pretty much it. So anything that's a higher tier is what we're looking for right now. So let's get opening these. Let's see if I can find myself some masterful token pieces. No luck so far. Everything that I've opened so far is just legendary legendary literally nothing higher than that which is kind of crazy but there we go all from mythic armor boxes as well it seems like the masterful is extremely extremely rare or i'm just getting very unlucky which is also very very possible again nothing above legendary in that little collection well i think we got one mythical piece here somewhere i can't even remember what it was though it wasn't something that we needed that's all i do know <laughs> yeah we got a mythical pickaxe helmet that's uh yeah that's not going to be usable I feel like they definitely like decrease the chances of getting masterful like that that's that is what it seems like um, everything that I get right now is pretty much legendary. I'm, I'm really not seeing anything other than legendary in, in most of these pieces, which is good. I guess it adds more of a trading element to the game. So it's, uh, you know, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. It would just be nice to be able to get a couple of pieces that were above it, you know? <laughs> Still just collecting legendaries by the look of it. Yeah, nothing. We got mythical pickaxe boots, but that is definitely not what we're looking for. And a pet helmet. Oh, what we're looking for though last half a stack here and then uh yeah that's our hope kind of gone for upgrading our token armor i didn't realize that it was this hard this season to be honest with you um i genuinely just thought it was going to be the same as last season's which uh i think they were a lot more common than this i don't know but i'm pretty sure um but it does look like yes we don't get a single upgrade there so we've got 14 left might just be that we have to try and max out the legendary ones i don't know that just seems to be what we're getting the fact that we even had one mythical piece is now kind of amazing me that uh because of how rare these are dropping now uh, let's see do we get any kind of an upgrade here let's take a look all legendaries Oh, legendaries, nothing else to see. Crazy, I thought we would save up all of those armor boxes and be good to go, but I guess not. Um, So with that information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off these token leggings. We are just going to chuck on as many armor stones as we possibly can into this bad boy. Get this as high as we possibly can, and uh, then we'll move on, I think. That is uh, pretty much all we can do. Your level is maxed. There we go. So yeah, level 40 is maxed on those. Um, Nothing crazy. We'll just add the rest onto this one right here. It's chest plate, I guess, for now and there we go that is all we can do so not a massive upgrade today that does mean the armor is going to be a much bigger grind this season i guess so that is something which we are going to have to continually work on uh we do get a 1.8 times token booster i think it needs to be 1.9 in order for people to buy it so uh yeah that's a shame the good news is i didn't actually put in that much time mining off camera um it just seems like all the upgrades that we've been doing recently have been coming in super super clutch so before you guys know it we might be ranked 500 which i think is where my next challenge sends me so uh we we could do with getting that rank 500 we could do with uh you know activating the next challenge next set of challenges because i think after 500 it changes from mine rank i'm not actually entirely sure but uh hopefully it does because yeah the mine ranks do tend to get a lot harder but i noticed in chat that a lot of people are focusing heavily on buying like rank upgrades and stuff right now because um or like rank crystal sorry because i uh, it just seems to be like the hardest thing to get like pickaxe level is coming in super super easy this season um you guys can see i'm already pickaxe level nearly 200 um i believe we would unlock some new inch at 200 but we can't even really look ahead to the new enchants because you know because of where we're at right now there's there's not really much that the new enchants would do i mean we're looking for gem based things right now and i think the only thing that's going to help us is prestige finder and prestige merchant yes it is there um and then in here obviously black hole which is what we're going for um, but I don't think any of the rest of those will really help with that. So we're on the right path right now. We're kind of doing everything we need to do. I just got to put in some more time, like I say, grinding. Luckily, it hasn't been coming that bad. It hasn't been coming that hard. So we should be, um, we should be, we should be on route to success here, really. But anyway, that is exactly how you can get yourself one of the premium crates from the store for free because literally anyone can do that. You just got to go into that battle pass, take a look at all the easy challenges in there because most of them are super, super easy. I mean, you know, we've, we've not put in an insane amount of time, like, grinding too much this season to be honest with you guys and uh we're doing pretty well for ourselves so yes guys that is gonna be it for me today i hope that you have enjoyed this episode if you have make sure you do hit that like button for me if you're not already subscribed make sure you do that as well that would be much appreciated so many people that watch these videos aren't even subscribed to so double check that you are that would be much appreciated guys that is gonna be it for me today i hope you have enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode of op presence here on akuma mc